we're back on the case, undercover inside funeral homes, testing to see if anything's changed. For dignity, it's nice to maybe put her in something mm -hmm. nice and comfortable. Because you may never be more vulnerable to a sales pitch than in a place like this. Does that seem like something that would be appropriate? Hi, Randy. Yeah. yeah. Monique and Randy Wright were arranging a funeral for Randy's ailing mom. They'd just been here, Chapel Lawn in Winnipeg, run by the largest Canadian-owned funeral company, Arbor Memorial. I just happened to watch the Marketplace episode, and we were just aghast. It's like, oh my goodness, that's us. In that 2017 investigation, we filmed Arbor sales staff on commission pushing hard to upsell. I haven't added anything on that. You know, I wouldn't provide for my own family. From pricey packages. Do we need everything on that? Um, a couple items are 98% is mandatory. To costly caskets. $2,500, 33 4,000, Pushing and bombing that wasn't wanted or even needed. And we need to have the embalming for that. Mm -hmm. sure. Embalming is optional and rarely required, but Randy and Monique say Arbor told them it had to be done. Did you feel like you had an option? No, absolutely not. No. It just was the minimum package that you could have. The biggest issue was mm -hmm. the embalming and a viewing of my mother, who was very private and it, it would have been awful. It, it would have made me sick. So Randy and Monique turned to industry insider Shane Newfeld to help them cancel the agreement. They saw him in our last story. How typical is the experience that Randy described? I think it's very typical. I think it's more common than it should be. Shane used to work for Arbor, but now runs a funeral home that takes a different approach. While he helps Randy and Monique, we want to know if upselling like this is still common practice. Has anything changed since our last story? Hey, Kerry. Hi, David. Yeah, good to good, see you again. Good to see you, too. Well, have a seat. Thank you very much. To find out, we're back at the Bereavement Authority of Ontario and funeral industry yes. regulator, Kerry Smith. He vowed to crack down after we showed him our original hidden camera. You took action. Did take action. What did you do? Right away. Arbor management came into the office here. Their attitudes are very good. and, and Promise to take immediate action. That action started with caskets. We found Arbor's marked up by as much as 400%, but buy one from a different company, and Arbor would charge almost 600 bucks as a handling fee. They could legally charge that, but he said, you know, it leaves a bad taste in people's mouths, so stop doing it. They 100% agreed. The other thing we asked them to stop immediately was there was a there was a clip showing the selling of an identity casket. She just wants something very simple. It's an identification container, so yeah, you wouldn't really see that during the visitation. It was positioned to the consumer in the video that they couldn't use it for a full uh, service funeral. We took issue with that and said, no, if it's in your showroom, it's available for sale. These are a lot of changes. I believe there are a lot of changes and they implemented them very swiftly. So they've taken it very seriously. But how seriously? Our undercover producers are back testing five Arbor homes in Ontario to find out. It's just a simple kind of service here okay. um, before cremation. Are Carrie's new rules being followed? We're showing him what we found out. Do you mind if I show you some of the video? No, please do. First up, we test whether they'll charge a handling fee if we want to buy a casket elsewhere, something Carrie banned. Do people ever bring in their own caskets? Uh, you can bring in your own if you want. There's no extra fees or anything to do that. Do people ever bring in their own caskets? Yes, you can buy an outside casket. And there's no like extra cost with that or anything? There is not. Good. Uh, that's following the rules, the new rules that you've set up. Absolutely. All five homes have dropped their $600 handling fee. You're happy to see that. I'm, I'm happy and relieved. But Carrie's about to be more than disappointed. This is your marketplace. We're inside Arbor Memorial, the largest Canadian-owned funeral home chain. And so this is our collection room. This time, we're shopping for caskets. You can see the price point of the bailing. Mm -hmm. We want the cheapest option. It's about 900 bucks. Are you thinking sort of that price point, or? If we can do a lower a price point. A little bit lower? Point, yeah. Okay. 
After our last investigation two years ago, Ontario's funeral regulator cracked down, saying staff must offer to sell the cheapest casket, something that wasn't always happening. When people come and, and you're going to be giving speeches and, and the like, that's what would be present at the front of the Are chat. Arbor staff following that new rule? Does that seem like something that would be appropriate? Independent funeral director Shane Newfeld watches too. For dignity for your aunt, it's nice to maybe put her in something mm -hmm. nice and comfortable, right? I think uh, it's interesting that they see that the path to dignity is to spend more money. I don't make that connection myself. We could use it for the service if we wanted to and put flowers on top. It's totally up to you. I've never seen it done. Um, but it's totally up to you. If he's never seen that done, then he's never served a family that's truly in need. Who is he to say that to them? Your aunt or your mom or dad lose a lot of dignity when they're going through a sickness or an illness. Uh, at least yeah. you can do is give them some of that dignity back. It looks like he's, he's playing on the emotions of the, the consumer. That in itself isn't against the law. It's, it's um, <laughs> perhaps distasteful. People would find that distasteful. You're the regulator, and you seem to have a problem with it. Yeah, well, it's... I don't like people preying on people's vulnerabilities. And at this home, the upselling does break the rules. Our starting point is around 1895. Starting point? Okay. Our producer spots a casket for a thousand bucks okay. less. What about this one? It says cremation container. Yeah, so this is for one that you know services, like no visitations. So this person didn't get the memo. She digs in, refuses to sell us the cheapest casket. So we can't use it. Not for visitation. Like not for your funeral. She's wrong. She's wrong. Yes. You've forbidden that. You've been clear. Yeah, you, you can't do that. If they want to use that as a service, they have to use it as a service. If you're confronted by something like that, what do you do? Oh, we'll be taking action on that one, for sure. They should know better, because that was a key issue that was addressed right after the last episode. What will you be saying to Arbor? I'm disappointed, and uh, this is a, a letdown. Arbor's head office declined our request for an on-camera interview, but did send us a statement saying they've made significant enhancements to their training programs over the past year and adopted industry-wide changes following our initial investigation. They also say they'll respond to customer concerns promptly. I have here the statement we, we have. Randy and Monique did have concerns, upsold on a contract with Arbor they wanted out of. Was this about money for you? No. Not at all. What was it about? Um, not having my mom embalmed. That was the main it was, thing. They fought us through everything, through absolutely everything. They turned to Shane for help after seeing him in our last story. We wrote all of the letters, uh, took care of all the paperwork for them. They got a refund check. And so that... Shane's in the business too, but unlike most funeral homes, he charges a flat fee and passes everything else on at cost. If someone says, we want the world's most expensive casket, we'll provide it to them, but that won't benefit us. We don't care about what people buy in terms of product. Randy's mother died just two months after they canceled Arbor's contract, and the service she got was the one they wanted. What does that mean for the way you can now remember your mother? I mean, it's awesome. It's, that's the way it's supposed to be. You just want to do right by that person by your loved one. It wasn't about the money.